Have you ever wondered why Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, has such a massive size compared to other planets? This colossal celestial body, over 11 times the diameter of Earth, has long piqued the curiosity of astronomers and space enthusiasts alike. Jupiter, the fifth planet from the Sun, is not just significant for its size, it's a crucial piece of the puzzle in our quest to understand the cosmos. It's like an enormous history book, waiting to be read, offering clues about the early solar system. As we strive to unravel the mysteries of the universe, understanding the components of Jupiter becomes imperative. These elements not only define the planet's physical characteristics, but also its behavior within the solar system, its influence on nearby celestial bodies, and its unique atmospheric phenomena. To truly grasp the enormity and complexity of Jupiter, we must first delve into its fascinating components. Hold on to your seats, we're about to embark on a cosmic journey. First, we explore Jupiter's outer layer, its thick and turbulent atmosphere. This vast expanse isn't just a simple layer of gas, but rather a complex, dynamic system of swirling clouds and stormy turbulence. At first glance, Jupiter's atmosphere might seem quite similar to our own. After all, it's primarily composed of hydrogen and helium, much like our Sun. But that's where the similarities end. The proportions of these gases are vastly different, with Jupiter's atmosphere containing about 90% hydrogen and 10% helium. In contrast, our Sun is about 74% hydrogen and 24% helium. But let's not forget about the other players contributing to the atmospheric drama of Jupiter. Trace amounts of other gases, including methane, ammonia, water vapor, and even neon, are also present. These may seem like minor players in the grand scheme of things, but they are crucial in giving Jupiter its distinctive appearance. The color bands that stripe across Jupiter's surface are a direct result of these different gases. These bands or zones are areas of rising gas, while the darker belts are regions of sinking gas. The different gases along with the intense heat and pressure within Jupiter's atmosphere, create these colorful bands, each of which is a separate layer of the planet's atmosphere. And of course we cannot forget Jupiter's most famous feature, the Great Red Spot. This massive storm, larger than our entire planet, has been raging for centuries. The red color of the storm is believed to be caused by the interaction of sunlight with chemicals, such as phosphine and ammonia, in Jupiter's upper atmosphere. The atmospheric composition of Jupiter is not just a collection of gases. It is a dynamic, ever-changing spectacle of swirling storms and colorful bands. These elements create a planet that is not only visually stunning, but also intriguing to scientists and space enthusiasts alike. The atmospheric composition of Jupiter, with its vivid bands and swirling storms, truly makes it a spectacle in our solar system. Next we venture into the unseen, yet powerful component of Jupiter, its magnetosphere. This magnetic field is not just an ordinary one, it's the largest structure in the entire solar system stretching nearly 600 million kilometers in the direction of the Sun. That's almost four times the distance from the Earth to the Sun. This magnetic bubble known as the magnetosphere is created by the rapid rotation of Jupiter's metallic hydrogen core. This rapid spin generates a potent magnetic field, which gets trapped in the planet's rotation, resulting in the creation of this gigantic magnetosphere. But what's the role of this vast magnetic field? Well, it serves as a protective shield, safeguarding Jupiter from the onslaught of the solar wind. Yes, that's right. The sun is not just a ball of light and heat, but it also emits a stream of charged particles known as the solar wind. Now these particles can wreak havoc on a planet's atmosphere, slowly stripping it away. But thanks to Jupiter's robust magnetosphere, the planet's atmosphere remains unscathed, reflecting these particles and creating a buffer zone. This interaction between the solar wind and the magnetosphere is also responsible for one of the most spectacular light shows in the solar system, Jupiter's auroras. Unlike Earth's auroras, which are primarily driven by solar activity, Jupiter's auroras are largely powered by its own rotation. This is due to the planet's rapid spin and the immense size of its magnetosphere, which creates a strong electric current. This current accelerates particles towards the poles, causing them to emit light and create these beautifully radiant auroras. So, even though we can't see it, Jupiter's magnetosphere plays a vital role in shaping the planet's environment and creating some of the most breathtaking phenomena in our solar system. Jupiter's colossal magnetosphere is a testament to the planet's magnetic might, unseen but undeniably present. Delving deeper, we explore the mysterious interior of Jupiter. Peering beneath the gaseous clouds of this gas giant, we encounter an environment unlike any other in our solar system. 
Jupiter's interior is a realm of extreme conditions and exotic states of matter, a testament to the extraordinary forces at play in such a massive planet. It is believed that at the heart of Jupiter lies a dense core. While its exact composition remains a subject of debate among scientists, it is speculated that this core is made of heavy elements, possibly rock or metal, and could be up to 20 times the mass of Earth. Surrounding this core is a vast layer of hydrogen in a state rarely seen on our home planet. Under the immense pressure and temperature of Jupiter's interior, this hydrogen behaves not like a gas but like a metal. Yes, you heard it right, metallic hydrogen. This unique form of hydrogen is capable of conducting electricity, and it's this sea of metallic hydrogen that is thought to be responsible for generating Jupiter's powerful magnetic field. But how do these extreme conditions come about? Well, it's all about the pressure. As we descend further into Jupiter's interior, the pressure increases exponentially. This intense pressure, combined with high temperatures, squeezes the hydrogen into its metallic state. However, Jupiter doesn't give up its secrets easily. The extreme conditions within its interior make direct observation and measurement a challenge. Most of what we know is based on data collected from spacecraft like NASA's Juno mission and through mathematical models. So what does this mean for our understanding of Jupiter? It means that while we may have a basic framework, the intricate details of Jupiter's interior are still largely unknown. It's a complex puzzle that scientists are working tirelessly to solve, a mystery that fuels our curiosity and drives our exploration of the cosmos. Jupiter's interior, a hotbed of pressure and extreme conditions, remains a mystery that continues to captivate scientists. Finally, we turn our gaze to Jupiter's companions, its diverse collection of moons. These celestial bodies are not just mere satellites orbiting the giant planet, they are integral parts of the Jovian system, each with its own fascinating story to tell. Among the most famous are the four largest moons known as the Galilean moons, named after Galileo Galilei, who discovered them in the early 17th century. These are Io, Europa, Ganymede and Callisto, each distinct and unique in its own right. Io, the innermost of the Galilean moons, is the most volcanically active body in our solar system, with over 400 active volcanoes. Its vibrant yellows, reds, and blacks are a testament to its intense geological activity, painting a vivid and dramatic portrait of this fiery moon. Next is Europa, a moon that could potentially house life. Beneath its icy surface there is a vast ocean, over twice the volume of all of Earth's oceans combined. This moon's under-ice ocean could host microbial life, making it a prime target for future space missions. The largest moon of Jupiter, and indeed the largest in the solar system, is Ganymede. It's even bigger than the planet Mercury. Ganymede is the only moon known to have its own magnetic field, hinting at a molten or part-molten core. Lastly, we have Callisto, the outermost Galilean moon. It's a heavily cratered and ancient landscape, having the oldest and most heavily cratered surface in the solar system. This moon's surface has not changed much since its formation over 4 billion years ago. These moons, with their diverse characteristics, help us understand the gravitational pull and influence of Jupiter. They serve as a testament to the planet's immense power and influence, pulling these diverse bodies into its orbit. The moons of Jupiter, each with its own unique features and mysteries, add another layer to the planet's captivating allure. So, what makes Jupiter the giant it is in our solar system? Well, let's quickly recap. Jupiter's gaseous atmosphere, a swirling maelstrom of vibrant hues, plays a pivotal role in making it the behemoth it is. This atmosphere, predominantly hydrogen and helium, is more than just a pretty face. It's the outer shell of a cosmic giant. Then there's Jupiter's mighty magnetosphere, a magnetic personality indeed, casting a protective shield that stretches millions of miles into space. Beneath those tumultuous clouds lies Jupiter's mysterious interior, a realm of extreme pressure and temperature believed to host a core of heavy elements. And let's not forget Jupiter's diverse moons, over 60 in number, each with its unique character and charm. These celestial bodies are more than mere satellites, they're a testament to the planet's overwhelming gravitational influence. Jupiter, a cosmic behemoth, continues to fascinate us with its size, its components, and its mysteries yet to be unveiled. Our exploration of Jupiter is far from over, but for now, we pause, in awe of this gas giant's grandeur.